What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle. It's time to take a look at Steampunk Tower 2. Not usually a huge fan of tower defense games, but this one looked purdy and it looked like it would be a lot of fun. So I figure we drop on in and see what the game has to offer for a solid 30 minutes here. Let's dive straight on in. If you don't know who I am, I'm in- I'm Splattercat. I, I already messed up my intro. See, I messed up my intro and now I've lost all momentum. That's it. The channel's over. Close it down. Uh, greetings, Commander. I'm Lord Bertram Bingham. Welcome to my last shelter. It's a secret base which was designed to support our main weapon, the aircraft carrier for one big battle tower. That's the that's what you named it? You named it the one big battle tower? I feel like R&D could have come up with something better there. This war is a testament to my failures, but I'm an old man and I must rely upon skillful military men to set things right. Anyways, your task is simple. The cult has to be destroyed. Lord Bingham! Commander, let me introduce my chief assistant, Natalie. She will help you with all the questions and tasks. Is that a standard issue outfit right there? She must get cold on those, like, Soviet deployments. I'd love to, but we have an urgent situation. We've detected the cult's reconnaissance scouts not far from our base, and they're moving in our direction. Unacceptable. I'm afraid, Commander, there will be no time for learning, only practice. Natalie will guide you. Okay, and this is our base right here. Alright, storyline missions are red icons. Okay. Let's do that. Infantry and air units. Let's do this thing. Uh, before the mission begins, we got to choose what turrets we want to load onto the battle tower. We now have two machine guns. Click on them to load. So we've got the wasp and we've got the wasp. Okay, sounds good to me. Ooh, I like that loading screen. That's a pretty dope loading screen right there. That's pretty funsies. This might not even be a loading screen. This might be a lead-in. Oh, it is. It's a loading screen. <laughs> That's cool. I like animated loading screens, man. I'm a sucker for it. Click here. It said to click here. I did what I did. Oh, look, there's little stick men doing our things right now. Who doesn't love gaggles of stick men killing each other a la stick death? Click and move the turret to the right. Okay. Are you guys going to shoot at any point here? Oh, there's their range right there. Shoot those little bat. Oh, wow, that was a little bit more violent than I expected. We got blood and gore and all kinds of stuff going on right now. Bangity bang bang, getting rid of little dudes. We're going to attack from that side. Let's go ahead and swap the towers over to here. So apparently we can active swap our towers around as much as we like. I don't know if that's our health or our ammo or what's that supposed to be right there. Dude, it sucks. Why would you move across an open field with no defilade if you're an infantryman? Like, there's no cover. Clearly, attack from that side right there. Come from over there. I don't know how far that goes, but, like, I don't know. Get some snipers or something. I don't, I don't know how to help with this. All right, you guys start from over there and start from over there, and we'll see how it goes. There's a hole in my tower right now. There's a hole in my meshway. I can't make this happen. Do they have to be up high for them to hit the... There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, cool. Nice little explosion animation right there. I like it. I don't know if we're going to have enough to deal with this. This might get a little ugly. We might pick our way through. I don't know. We'll see what happens. He's got the fire nonstop to get rid of these dudes, though. Let's go ahead and speed it on up. I feel like we've earned it. Victory! And so now we use a little chain contraption to go ahead and drag that thing back off. What happens if it hits... What happens if it hits bedrock right there and breaks a whole bunch of stuff? Like, I, all I'm saying is it seems like this over re overly relies on a dong-shaped thing to hit the ground and sink in. What if it hits bedrock, though? Is the whole tower gonna break? Uh, we got some stuff. I don't know what those are. Uh, destroy the reconnaissance group has been completed. Our reward is some XP and some other things. Oh my god, you almost destroyed my tower. There weren't lots of enemies, but the tower was brought back smashed to pieces. Uh, get acquainted with Abigail Commander. She's a very talented mechanic and inventor, but unfortunately she's got a sharp tongue. That's because I'm working more than all of you. Turrets, towers, constructions, you've charged me with all the hard work. Because nobody can handle it except for you. Please, try to assist the commander and show him how to produce and upgrade turrets. Alright, follow me. Okay, let's produce and upgrade some turrets. Let's produce and upgrade here. Where am I going? What am I doing? We go back. Ah, there it is, the little thing with the turret on it. To begin with, let's buy another machine gun. Okay, give me another wasp. Enter the laboratory to upgrade a turret. Okay, and so it looks like we can upgrade that right there with whatever these are. We can get armor-piercing bullets, or we can get nothing because we're getting railroaded. Fantastic. Uh, quest build and upgrade machine gun has completed. Goody! Just what I always wanted to do. You're doing well, Commander. Nice joke, Natalie. Nice joke. Please, let's return to our business. The second enemy group needs to be destroyed as soon as possible. Uh, just find me some enemies, Commander. I'll show you how superheated steam works in turrets. Alright, well, let's go destroy some enemy groups over here. What is that? Oh, I get 200 bucks. Apparently, this is like a clicker thing that we've got going on over here. I've got $200. Can I upgrade right now? Like, what if I wanted to, like, buy another one? See, that's what I'm talking about right there. 
like let's see if we can let's see if we can upgrade something make it a little bit more sexy so our wasps we've got that upgraded to there if i drop that on into there that's going to give me some more xp gotcha i get how it works now okay well there you go we've leveled up yet again oh no you got to get over to there so we need a machine gun laboratory level two to unlock new upgrades okay Gotcha. I'm assuming I'm going to build a base at some point to make this a little easier. So we've got infantry, air units, and prototypes on that side. How many... So before the battle begins, we should repair the tower. Okay, there it is. Tower's all fixed up and looking sexy. Uh, give me a few more guns real fast. I assume that this thing's going to get pretty kitted out with shooty bits as we get towards the middle slash end of the game. Down it goes. You, you really think that there would be a better way for us to do this. Like, this seems like it would be markedly damaging on the tower. Oh, yeah, that's where the little hole was. Uh, we'll click over here and get this thing started. We can't add any more towers or move anything around, so we might as well just mash our way through this about as fast as humanly possible. Goodbye, enemies. Have fun running into my wall of machine guns. I hope you enjoy yourselves. You're not going to make it. I don't want to give you, like, a lack of hope, but I don't want to, like, take from you either. What are these little guys? They've got little steam backpacks. A steam soldier. Oh, they've got little stats. Oh, they're tankier than the rest. I suppose that makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, everybody knows that when you put a backpack on that exudes steam, it makes you tougher. I put one on just the other day, and a guy shot me, and I was like, ting, and it didn't even affect me. I was like, sucks to be you, amigo. Is that how many bullets they have right there? Uh, each turret has a steam bar. When the turret is ready, you will see a blue glow. Click on it and drag to aim on the enemy, and it will do a super shot. Oh, you can, like, saw these cats in half. Wow. Wow. That was really effective, and it set them on fire. I don't want to set some dudes on fire. I just want to light a flame in your heart. There we go. I don't know what the hell that thing's supposed to be, but you guys should probably shoot it a little bit more. You guys should definitely shoot a little bit more. In some ways, it kind of feels like a game that came off a of Congregate. Is that the same feeling that you guys are getting? It's kind of the feeling that I'm getting right now. Either Congregate or like a phone game or something. That's the general impression that I'm getting right now. Remarkable. Abby, your idea of using steam access in turrets is amazing. I suppose we should apply this technology to all types of turrets. Sure, you want to allow me to use the steam access on a base to build a sauna? I've always wanted one. After the next task. Yahoo! Alright, so there's our little reward. We've hit level 2, so we've got new buildings. We've got a heavy cannon, we've got lightning laboratory, we've got a saw launcher lab, we've got a rockets laboratory, and we've got a district for clerks. With no K at the end. We can't afford the K. We don't pay them enough. Attention, Commander. This is some important information about our base. The laboratories allow us to produce new types of turrets. Living districts generate money. The upgrade of the main factory will lead to the rise of the entire city's technological level. You better listen to the old guy. Abby, in other words, we are ready to make heavy guns, but before that, we got to build a laboratory for heavy cannons. Okay, let's go do it. Let's build, uh, yeah, do what you want to do. Are the emplacements, like, set, or do I get to pick? So I guess that's a heavy turret right there. Done. Heavy turrets for days. To cover our expenses, we can work as mercenaries. I've got an order for you. The cult's fanatics are threatening locals. I suppose we should help them. Since there's a reward. Nice, I can test my new heavy turret, but let's keep it secret from the old bones and share the reward. No, Abby, I refuse. We're fighting together against the cult. We can't let ourselves... Yeah, 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 goody, goody. What is this right here? Like, what do these do? I'm gonna click on that, and then I'm gonna click on that, but then I'm gonna go back because you don't tell me what to do. What does that do? A district for clerics. I need 150 crystals for that. What is this over here? I can also upgrade... I guess I can upgrade the tower itself so that we can get some more cool stuff. Just in case. No blueprints for construction for the building. The area is closed for now. What is this? It's an industrial center. The industrial center is the heart of every steam punk city. Modernization of this building affects the technology level of the whole city and improves the quality of the citizens' lives. Okay, so it turns them from citizens into... and Well, from citizens into citizens. Gotcha. Uh, let's go down here and we're going to fight some air units and stuff. Let's go blast units out of the sky. And we've got a bigger, sexier cannon right there. Suppose I'll give that a go. It's not upgraded at all, but maybe it'll be even better. I like the way they got rid of the loading screen after the first couple, though. For the first couple missions, the loading screen was dope. But I like it once they got it shut down, too. Where do you shoot to? Oh, it shoots grenades. Gotcha. It's a grenade turret, so that's really, really good at wiping out infantry. I understand now. Definitely going to have to put a few more levels into these. Otherwise, I don't think we're going to be able to weather the storm of some of the nastier things that are going on. It also seems to struggle pretty heavily with air units. And so I'm thinking one heavy turret to a side and then one machine gun turret to the side will probably work out pretty well in the long term. Just keep shooting. You got, you come over to here. 
Or not. Whatever. It's fine. I don't even care. Whatever. It doesn't even matter. It's not important anymore. It was important a second ago, but it doesn't even matter. We're, we're, we're good. Like, don't even, don't even stress about it. They're gonna shoot those down right there. I wonder if they gotta slide past each other, and that's part of the mechanic. Uh, turrets need ammo. To speed up reloading, move them to the center of the tower. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Uh, yeah, you do that thing right there. Put him back in, just in case. Oh, they're both reloading. That's all kinds of bad. Uh, you go right there, you go right there, and just help out on this side. Make it all better. Make the boo-boos and the bads go. I didn't know I was going to have to reload them. They could have told me before I had to reload. Good lord. Like, they could have filled me in on this whole reloading mechanic before it was too late. They're like, hey, you're out of ammo. You want to fix that? I'm like, well, there's a lot of enemies on the horizon right now. A heads up would have been welcome, like... I don't know. A heads up would have been welcome, like... 30, 40 seconds ago? Probably would have been, probably would have been helpful, but you know, whatever. I don't care about that. Uh, so there it is. Mercenary work is done. The cult's gonna attack down there. Oh, it's randomly generated. Okay. Lord Bingham, sir. It's Victor. Our secret project is under threat. The cult has begun to mount an invasion of Portugal, but my cannon is not ready and I'm afraid they can find us. That looks like a lady who's wearing a mustache to hide the fact that she's a lady. Apparently, we should protect my investments and defend Victor's secret weapons. He's like, hey, screw you. I can't help that I'm fair-faced. Secret weapon? Why don't I know about this? Who's this strange Russian guy? Victor's a Russian engineer. He had a big military project for Spanish generals until they sided with the cult. Project was frozen, and I found Victor and reanimated his project. Secret weapon, huh? Big deal. My secret weapon is already done. I'll show it to you the next battle. Alright. Uh, we can go to Portugal for $1,000. I wish I could go to Portugal for $1,000. That'd make my life a lot easier if I go to Portugal for $1,000. That seems cheap for a trip to Portugal. I take that. Uh, repair my tower, please. My tower is all kinds of busted. It's looking all kinds of stupid right now. Uh, I can't do anything for the clerks right now, but what I can do is I can upgrade turrets and make them mow better. Let's take this over to here. And pow, there it is. Um, I can build this thing over here, but we don't have the... It unlocks a machine gun level 2. Gotcha. So we don't have the stuff for that right now. We don't have the yams for it, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and push on into this mission. I think this time around, I'm just going to bring double machine guns. There we go. I don't know. The grenade launcher is cool and everything, but it can't shoot air-to-air -air units, and that kind of concerns the hell out of me. It worries me a little bit. It worries me a tiny bit. Maybe I should be reloading in between waves, too. Yeah, shoot those things down. I'd like to see a little bit more enemy variety. It's a bit of a bummer. We haven't seen anything new just yet, but maybe you got to get into other countries for that. Perfect. Don't let them throw anything at me. Don't let them hurt me. You guys reload. We got a little bit of time to play around with. There it is. And so now we've got that all set up. Turret's back in position. And it is time to go bang, bang on some enemies. Bang, 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 banging on fools. Down they go. A few more of them dying. I don't know why, but I don't know. I grew up on stick death, so stick animation stuff always makes me happy. I don't really know why. But games that employ stick animation, for some reason, I find to be enjoyable. You guys reload real fast, and I'll do what I can with these other turrets. So you go out there, you guys go into here, uh, you put some serious hurting over there, you guys get back out here, and there you go. That's your mission for right now. Go ahead and spray and pray them too before they get here. Allow me a chance, oh those guys are on fire right there, they've been playing too much NBA Jam. I wonder if that makes them speed up or something, like, what does it mean when they're like on fire like that? It can't be a good thing. Like, I know for a fact it can't be a good thing. I should have saved my supers. I messed up, kids. I messed up. I messed up bad. We're going to lose some health right here. So what do they do? Do they, like, throw grenades or something? Should have saved my super. I just kind of threw it out there to get rid of the aircraft, but, like, eh. Such is life. More of our money wasted fixing chain link fences on the side of a tower when we could just have, like, an army. Like, this seems like a really roundabout way to go along winning a campaign. So there's some more stuff right there. A little bit of plating, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, let's hit some of these extra places down here. I'm, I'm a completionist. I like to I like to hit everything. I am not the one when it comes to that stuff. Uh, when it comes to upgrading my tower, how do I... Is my tower over here? There you go. Fix my tower. It's looking a little raggedy right now. It's looking a little messed. They got armored cars and prototypes. Jesus. Okay. Well, get after it, I guess. I would love to... How do I upgrade my tower? Can I make my tower have more turrets? I feel like I need three turrets right now. You need an industrial center. Oh, you throw it into here. Gotcha. 
So we've got plus one floor to the tower. And then down here we've got more space for overheated steam. Plus one charge for the eye weapon. I don't know what the eye weapon is, but it sounds pretty dope. Uh, let's go down in over here and next. And we've got, ooh, goody. I should probably buy another turret, right? That seems like a good idea. Let's go down and can I buy another one? Yeah, build me a... I guess we'll just take a wasp for right now. I'm kind of broke. I'm, I'll keep it on one side. I'll have it swap sides. That's what we'll do. We'll have it swap sides and it'll work out okay. It's going to swap sides and everything's going to be all right. I'll put it where it needs to go, okay? That sounded vaguely sexual, but don't judge me for it. It's not my fault. All right, let's kick this thing off. It's time for us to get busy up in this thing. A couple of aircraft coming in on that side. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, you go over there. Maybe, like, shoot some grenades at that thing or something. They have automatons, and that really, really concerns me. There you go. You go back to the center and reload real fast. I don't think I need you just yet. And now that you're reloaded, uh, everybody else reload too. I forgot about that. We gotta reload all of our guns and whatnot. Uh, they should be able to make it through the wave, I think. I hope, anyways. Looks like the automaton's coming from that side. Okay. Uh, we might have a little bit of trouble on our hands. Yeah, I had a feeling. I've got a funny feeling. I'm gonna get shot up. You guys swap over to there. And you... God. Well, hopefully we got enough bullets to last. There's the armored car that they were hinting towards. Oof. Not good. Put him up here and help out. We're losing way too much health right now. No! God, this game escalates quickly. This game escalates like crazy. Good sweet lord. Uh, we didn't really accomplish much right there, did we? We kind of had a bad day. I don't really know, so am I like stuck right now? Uh, maybe we'll do the next. Maybe we'll do the next storyline mission. How about that? We'll make it happen, Captain. We'll try and see how this plays out. All right, so let's see where we're at here. Got another wave coming in. Hopefully, this wave is not as bad as the last wave that we just tried to tango with, because it messed us up. You come over here and shoot that armadillo thing. Give it some armadaka. There you go. Let it find out the hard way. You guys reload real quick. Man, these guys are like exclusively... Oh, you can pan over too. That's pretty cool. Alright, you guys go back out here. How did I pan over? I still don't know how I did that. How did I pan over? Hmm. Maybe it did it as a scripted thing? I don't know. I wonder what the grenade does when it's, like, all maxed out. Oh, it shifts back. Okay, so if you've got attacks coming from both sides, it'll cover for you. Gotcha. You guys get back out there. Do your thing. You get back in there and reload. Shoot those dudes back down. He's got a super ready to go, and I don't know what his super does, but I'm curious to find out. You guys reload while we wait for that to happen. You guys get back out there and right there. Reload about as fast as you can because we need more bullets. They got a big automaton coming from that side. Well, two of them. Okay. Go ahead and give them a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Uh, they're going to need help over here. I don't think they're going to pull off of this one. Hey, we've got, like, a nuke shot. That's pretty cool. Yeah, go ahead and save the tower real quick. It might be our only hope. You guys reload. I'll put this back on normal speed. I think that's what's getting me in trouble. I'm not able to... My, my clicks per second, my StarCraft game is not on point. Uh, you reload real fast. we got a minute to work and deal with any walkers or anything anyways. You guys get back in here and put in as much ammo as you can real fast. Commander, we're ready to use the main weapon. Activate the eye and then click on the enemies. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I've got a death ray. Splatty got a death ray. Who doesn't love a death ray? Death rays are always helpful. You go over there and do what you're going to do. You guys go over here and keep shooting at him. I definitely need to... Ooh, it exploded him into pieces. Gross. Gnarly, we got we got jibs. I mean, we jibbed them. Just jibbed all day long, jibbinated. 
And we've got some random things we can use to upgrade our stuff. And we've got 90 more of those, so there it is. And we've hit level 3. We've got a bunch more buildings that it probably won't let us build right now. Attention, everyone. I've asked Victor to join our team. He will execute an artillery support for us. This is an honor for me, but first I must finish the construction of my main cannon. I can't do it for the cult's fanatics have stolen a very important mechanism. I need to find them and get it back. Okay. I believe this is the perfect time for building a train station. Yeah, trains. I love those things. Commander, you should proceed to the train station construction and send Victor on a special mission. Okay. I guess I have to build the train station right now. So how do the special missions work? There are three types of missions. Diplomatic, spy missions, and military. These kinds of missions let us get Ethereum. Okay. Yeah, send Victor. This definitely has to be a phone game. It's gotta be. Like, why would they give you those timers and stuff if it's not? Like, there's no way that this is not some kind of mobile thing they've got going on. I don't know. I get sent keys. I play the keys. It's, I'm a bit of a whore like that. Oh, well. Uh, quest mission for characters has completed. So there it is. All done. I'm afraid we have a problem, Commander. Our scouts report that the cult is planning a massive attack on Porto, Portugal's biggest seaport. We can't let this happen. You must get ready for battle, Commander. I already take at least two heavy cannons and defend the city until the Victor Cannon is ready. Then, first off, we need to upgrade the tower itself and add more space for turrets. Enter the hangar. I think I already did that. Like, I'm pretty sure... Oh, never mind then. Whatever, you know. Overheated steam comes out with pressure. Plus 4-4 four, four damage to the eye weapon. Okay. And then we've got that right there. Looks good to me. We've already upgraded the tower right there. Get my cash and get that going. Over here, it looks like we can build a place for clerks. But that uses up a bunch of ethereum that I don't want to use up. Instead... I would much rather buy another axe turret so that I can mirror it on the other side and we can just make the whole thing work. Uh, upgrades are pretty important to me, but I just used up all my bits and pieces, so I guess that's not going to work for right now. We've got a new quest, so we've got to defend Porto. Okay. Uh, let's go defend Porto then. It's time for us to Porto up. Alright, so we've got two cannons. There's our second one right there. Let's get up in here. You can buy bonuses for use in battle. Only the steam beam is available for right now. Okay. Well, what does that do? Do you want to buy cell with an overheated steam? I don't know. Do I? I don't know if I want that thing. Sure, I'll spend a thousand dollars on it. Why not? I have terrible money management sense. Why not? I mean, if it's already there and it makes me shoot more death rays... So far, the death ray is the biggest act of seduction that the game has pulled on me. And so any game that allows me to shoot giant death ray Kamehameha beams at my enemies is something that I feel is worthwhile. You guys load on up. It looks like I can deploy the steam ray whenever I want. Oh yeah, those fill up right there. Okay. You guys go do your thing for right now. I'll try to use it once we get a little bit tense and we gotta reload and whatnot. But for the moment, I think we're just gonna have to hang in here. Alright, so you guys go in here. Click on the call the wave button to get more... I don't want to click there. I'm trying to reload right now. I don't want to click there at all. I guess I will if you make me, but I don't really want to. Like, it's not something that I personally feel like I agreed to, but, you know, you got my hands tied, so whatever. I'll buy, I'll buy the steam thingy. Good. They're firing the grenades at the right thing at the bare minimum. Having two of these, one on each side, is actually kind of advantageous towards us. I'm going to let him reload for a minute while that thing tries to get into range. And then I'm going to have him reload the exact same way. And if they manage to knock their guy down on that side, that gives them a nice little opening to reload as well. Alright, you guys reload over here. We will send the next wave. Oh, the next wave is only coming from this side. Okay. I don't think I want to use his super just yet. I think I'm going to leave it alone. I would love to use one of their supers, though, on this thing. That would be my favorite, but maybe I'll save it for later. You guys finish reloading. If you got any bullets to replace, just replace them. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Why, if it has a gun on it, are they waiting to get so close to me in order to orchestrate violence? That is my personal question right now. They've got guns on them. Why aren't they firing from further away? So we got supers on that side. That's good. It'll probably help out at some point. God, I love those mortars. Those mortars are the best. I'm going to use those things all day long. Mortars blast away at the enemy. You know, like, I say I don't like tower defense games, but I have, like, five of them on my phone, and I play them a lot for saying that I don't like them. Blow those dudes up. That's what I'm talking about. 
That's what I'm talking about. You got to get them, Chief. You got to make it happen. All right, so they're reloaded. He's reloaded. Let's get him reloaded real fast, and then we will finish him off. There you go. Just peek out real fast. Get him with the snipey snipey. I should probably use my death ray at some point, right? I feel like I should use my death ray. I'm going to see if I can time that right. There we go. Timed it just right. I wasn't positive that was going to work. Let me use my, I'm going to use my death ray over here. Help these cats out. That's what I'm talking about. Death ray. What's not to love about a giant sinister death ray eyeball? We didn't even get any attacks from over here. That's all land-based. Uh, drag him up. Drag him down. Bring him over to here. You go to there. You go to there. And give it to him. Uh, hold on, Commander. Victor is ready to strike. Give me the right coordinates. Oh. All right. What? We've got an artillery. we got a Gustav gun? What? Oh, that was pretty hyped right there. I'm pretty excited about that Gustav gun. This game's getting a little explosive. I thought it was just going to be your average, like, new grounds tower defense game. But interesting things are happening now. Interesting things are happening. Maybe we just had to get a little further in. Lord Bingham, we're getting the signal from a certain Miss Elizabeth Vaughn Brown. Apparently she's the daughter of Mr. Brown, your worst rival. My deepest apologies, Lord Bingham. I do not voluntarily appeal to you. I have no choice. You are my last chance to save my people and my developments. Elizabeth, dearest, your father. I'm awfully ashamed of him, Lord Bingham. He's dead already. I'm the last of the Browns, and I should be... I should think of my company, my people, and my legacy. Our base has just been exposed. The cult will definitely destroy us. It's just a question of time. You'll have to share some of my developments. Please, help us. Elizabeth, we have one global enemy, and we will do everything we can to hold back the army of cult to give you some time to get ready for evacuation. Okay. Well, this is Steampunk Tower 2. I get the feeling that as we fight our way across, like, the entire world... Interesting things. I mean, we've already got a Gustav gun that fires a nuclear bomb. We've got a death ray eyeball. I'm kind of curious what comes next. I'm not a huge fan of all the weird little mobile things they have going on inside of the game, like the random missions and things that you send people on. But at the same time, it's like the actual tower defense component of the game is pretty fun. Upgrade allows you to send trains to northern Spain. Let me make one thing plain. If it's going to rain, you had better refrain. Yeah, send Victor over there. Go ahead. Victor, go go get me some more of the crystal y dues so that I can upgrade some things. I will see you all later. If you wanted to get this game for yourself, it's six bucks on Steam right now. If you look down below, I don't know if the price is gonna go back up to seven, but it's cheap. So if you know, if you're looking for some tower defense goodness, this might be the game for you. I will see you all later. My name is Splattercat. I dig through the pile of indie games to find out what's worthwhile so that you don't have to. I will see you all later. Hi do, everybody. Thanks for stopping on in.